Town next. Nottingham Rowing Club and Leander Club against Aberdeen University and Robert Gordon. Let's keep a close eye on the start. Aberdeen Gordon on the right hand side. Oh, where are they heading to now? They're darting towards that boom. They need to be very careful. They are just a fraction away from it. Now they're going to overcompensate to go back into the middle of the water and the umpire's going to have to get busy here because Aberdeen have strayed off the buck station and swerving down the course and that's had an impact on what's going on on the Berkshire station as well. They are heading towards the boom. So on the Bucks station, Aberdeen University and Robert Gordon being sent back towards their station. But Catherine, so interesting to see the impact that had on the Nottingham and Leander boats on the Bark station because they, I suppose, use each other for bearings. Look how even it is after all that drama's unfolded. But we're where we started. They're absolutely dead level. But it was interesting to start there and it was initially on the, the Bucks station, the Alan Sinclair boat that you can see uh, nearest the camera that went out into the middle of the water. It definitely had an impact on what was going on on the Berkshire station. I know, I was just thinking, you know, 200 metres in, it's bow to bow. Um, it's incredible close racing. They both had very dramatic starts to their race. I mean, we've always talked about, especially these coxless boats, it's one of the athletes will be sitting there with the back to the course, the steering foot attached to one of their feet and they, they have to move their foot left to right to keep the boat straight. Now what happens is off the start, uh, it feels very narrow. You've got an island on one side, you've got the bank on the other and often crews move away from each other but then you're suddenly kind of warned by the looming island and you overcorrect and go back towards the other crew. So let's have a look uh, further down the water in this race as it unfolds, Nottingham and Leander on the right of your picture there, Aberdeen and Robert Gordon as they head into the middle to latter part of the race. They seem to be troubling the umpire less at this point. They've moved both their, their stations, but again, it's not, it's not dramatic weather that would affect the steering in this way, uh. but I think what we're seeing with a few cruises, they haven't had the training we'd expect at this point, so suddenly steering becomes a bigger issue than normal. And as we've seen now, they, they both crews are affecting each other quite dramatically in yeah. how they're steering, and there's quite a big overcorrection. So you want small, subtle movements to not try and shock the boat too much. But sometimes in the sort of heat of the moment, if a crew's coming at you fast, you do do a sort of much stronger steering than you would normally do. Well, Aberdeen University and Robert Gordon there, exactly overcorrection, darting to their boom and now he's going to have a look at Nottingham and Leander Club and urging them back towards their station as well so yeah the boats almost appear to be going sideways at times which would lose all the momentum down the course as you say so here we are live into the final few hundred meters in front of Stewart's enclosure and on the Bark station it's Nottingham and Leander after quite an eventful race who haven't got the biggest of these a fraction more than the length Aberdeen University and Robert Gordon have really kept that competition honest and hot all the way down the course. Good race, that. Very good race. Very close right to the finish. Neither boat would have been com comfortable at any point during that race, which is, as a spectator, the kind of races you want to see as a competitor, hard to do. Yeah, great experience for the students. Again, Ireland Challenge Cup. And well done to Nottingham and Leander, who move through, progress through. Good performance from them. Quite a lot of distraction, quite a lot of things going on during that race, but they held their concentration, held their nerve, and they are through.